Well, the way this all started, I used to do a lot of sand sculpture. Every time we went away uh, to Florida, I'd spend the afternoons on the beach for hours making sand sculptures. What, you know, that, I, I used to do all sorts of things on the beach. And then later on, when I didn't get to the beach very often anymore, and I was getting a little too old to do that bending and digging, um, I started to do the clay sculpture. like to work in clay and I think it's because it's so forgiving it's so easy to add to subtract to um, y you can do large heads you can do in fact you can do entire figures you can um, you can make very tiny pieces and you can finish them in all sorts of ways <clears throat> you can either uh, glaze them or stain them or after they're fired, you can paint them in acrylic and then glaze them with an acrylic glaze. So I, I find it very, very enjoyable to work with clay. I'm always looking for some idea for another piece and I saw a picture in a magazine of a young lady with this tightly woven, uh, uh, well, what would you call it, <laughs> well dreadlocks I guess you'd call it, um, and so I thought that would make a good subject for a piece. The only problem was that when it came out of the f first firing there must have been an air bubble right under this cheek and when it came out of the, the firing the cheek was out like this. So I got some um, a, a vinyl uh, uh, spackle, that's what it's called, vinyl spackle which will absorb very dramatically into the clay and I, I put it on and put this back and it just went just and you couldn't budge it after that. Then I sanded the entire cheek and since it was already um, fired once, it couldn't be fired again because of the, the uh, glaze firing would have ruined the, uh, the, uh, the uh, vinyl spackle that was in there. So I had to finish it with acrylic paint. Uh, I, then, I, then I put it in acrylic glaze over the entire piece. But I, I, I like the way it ended up. Um, an example of a really badly termite damaged piece of wood and I made it into a vase. Uh, I don't know why I enjoy doing the uh, doing different pieces of wood but that I love the graining and I love to dig in and get all this yummy texture and uh, I love the, that texturing too. And this was a great big old piece of, you know, pieces of wood made into a square.
should have put some seed out for them. Oh, look, now you can see it. Mm -hmm. I think that would be a juvenile because the wings are still a little gray. Mm -hmm. oh, there's a little sparrow. He's finding something. So when I started to do this, I had originally planned to put in a man and a woman. But after I had the bench made and the man made, I said, no, I'm going to I'm gonna do something different. So I, I decided to have him feeding the dog instead of himself. And uh, this is a bag that he brought his, his uh, sandwich in and french fries and his drink. And and some of the french fries have fallen to the floor. And this one, I saw a picture of, um, of an elderly man sleeping in a doorway. And uh, the way he was slumped and sort of bent over, I thought that would make a very nice little sculpture. So again, I added a dog and I thought, it was very affectionate having the hand of the man on the dog and the paw of the dog on the man. I saw a picture of, of this uh, statue in a pamphlet uh, from uh, Sotheby's in New York. It, the picture was of a full-sized uh, adult, you know, full-sized person uh, uh, sculpted in wood and painted. And it had been on an altar in medieval uh, Germany. And now it was being auctioned off and uh, it was in their catalog, and I thought that was a very beautiful statue of St. Catherine. And I believe, there are lots of St. Catherines, I believe this was St. Catherine of Siena, because St. Catherine of Siena was involved in the church, and she's carrying a book. Um, it was a very interesting statue, uh, uh, piece to make, taking it from a, a picture which is uh, one-dimensional and trying to figure out what the back might possibly have been look, have looked like. It was just completely made up.
the idea of this. Um, when I saw an Amish butcher in uh, a little Amish market butchering uh, something, and, and I thought that would make a, a fun, well, a good sculpture. And uh, I had an Amish hat on him, and then I put the goose on the on the uh, um, chopping block, and then I I got awfully nasty, and I decided to make him very sloppy, and I made a garbage can with lots of things just dripping out and dripping onto the floor. In fact, there's a little rat over here who's enjoying all the, the droppings. And then I put a little dog in there watching the rat. It's, it's a pretty nasty piece, but it's fun. Yeah, there's a lot of work that goes into getting all the detailing around the mouth, the chin, the cheeks, the eyes. Mm -hmm. The hair was just taking a thumb and going like that. That made the hair. Yeah. Other than that, it was a lot of... And, and who is this person? Oh, this is my son, Eric.